Nashville. They are witnessing an exhibition tonight. And it's absolutely brilliant Barcelona football. Hey guys and welcome to another dribbling tutorial. This time it is about the face up dribbling. If you do not use this move yet, it's gonna be an absolute game changer. Just look at Messi over here beating all the opponents. But also if you already do use this move, it is certainly worth to watch because I have a lot of different ways of using this move to show you. You're gonna see lots of beautiful goals, but let us now first get into the basics of this move. All you have to do to perform this move is hold LT plus RT on PlayStation, that is LT plus RT on Xbox. If you hold both these triggers, what is going to happen is your player is going to perform a move which is called the face up dribbling, which you can see right here. He will keep the ball very close to his feet and you can do amazing stuff with that. So all you have to do is hold L2 plus R2, that is LT plus RT on Xbox and you can do some insane dribbling if you are able to do that. Now the acceleration, this is how most people use it because it's simply the most effective way of using it. First you're going to hold the two triggers, but then you're going to release only the left trigger, only the L2 or only the LT. And you keep holding the sprint button and therefore you will get a great acceleration. So we'll first hold the two buttons and then release only the left trigger. So keep holding the sprint button and you're going to get a great acceleration. And we can see over here very well illustrated the difference. You hold the two buttons, but this time release both buttons at the same time. And we will just exit in a normal dribble as you can see over here. But we're going to do it again. We're going to hold both buttons. And this time we only release the left trigger. So we keep holding the right trigger. And therefore now we exit this move with a great acceleration. After that we do some uh, face up dribbling without the accelerations. Because we're close to the back line we cannot do accelerations over there. But here we do a face up dribbling again with some acceleration. We get uh, we beat the player there on the wing and we get a great goal going there did I say already that we're gonna see some beautiful goals here is one right there uh, we can see here that is the most effective way of using the uh, dribbling just an acceleration get you the goal but of course we can also do some more fun stuff like Di Maria over here the ball roll to face up dribbling combination and that's a nice goal there as well the great thing about face up dribbling is that you have perfect balance after it. So we do some face up dribbling here, we get the perfect balance and if you have perfect balance you can do stuff like chip shots or long shots. Look at this chip over here with Benzema, we even beat Courtois who is a very very tall goalkeeper. So we do the face up dribbling, we get perfect balance, the goalkeeper is a little bit in front of his goal, we score an amazing chip goal right there. Diego Costa here as well, nice face up dribbling, this time even with an acceleration and look at that chip goal over there, but as I said we can also do long Long shot with this. We do face up dribbling here, challenge him, and once he goes down, we beat him on the other side. And because we do face up dribbling, look at look at Benzema's feet. We have perfect balance over there. Look at that. He has perfect balance, and therefore we can score a great outside foot long shot, just like in my long shot tutorial. You can see Benzema over here as well. Great face up dribbling over there without the acceleration exit this time, and a safety best goal for last. The, the goal over here with Tevez, which was a goal in my last full match gameplay. Uh, video look at this goal that is simply insane the face of dribbling over there we get the perfect balance let's just take the shot look at that goal by Tevez that is just amazing now one of the most beautiful ways of using this move is the stall I want to give a true ball to Ronaldo over there but he is far from where he has to be when I can give him the true ball so we use the face of dribbling over there to stall to basically wait for Ronaldo to get to that back line and then we can give him the true pass. He claims to go for himself Ronaldo but the beauty really was that Kadira over there. Look at the face of dribbling, waiting for the right moment, getting the pass to Ronaldo. That was just beautiful but Ronaldo returns the favor this time. Nice action and we just wait with some face of dribbling for Bale to get there and that is just an absolute brilliant move over there. Over there. Benzema gets the ball on the wing but look at that Ronaldo is far from where we can give him a true ball. We need to stall. And it does tell you that we're going to see beautiful goals. Just look at this again. That is an insane, insane true ball over there by uh, Benzema. Look at the vision over there. We stall and this true ball is absolutely insane in my opinion. But let us now get to the next clip. We see Kroos over here. And my mate over there playing co-op seasons is running with Ronaldo. But I'm seeing that Pique is tracking him. So I do not see that we are uh, getting the goal there. But 
but I do notice Benzema who has a lot of pace but we need to stall because he's simply not there yet so we stall with the face of dribbling my mate spots Ronaldo and we do get the goal in there but Ronaldo claims it again but uh, it's really Tony Kroos over here who uh, did a beautiful move waiting for Benzema at the right time and that's a great goal but also look at this true ball over here we do the drag back over there and now we do some uh, face of dribbling and that is an amazing true ball right there and I even think that is also worth a replay look at that a face of dribbling down and that is just such a sneaky true ball over there into my mate he gets the goal there and I want to give a true ball here again to my mate we have some space but I just need to give him a little time to make that run and then we can get the true ball in, in on him and this is also a great clip look at that just waiting for him and that is such a sneaky true ball over there I think that was also with the Reaper look, look at that this is just so beautiful in my opinion so subtle uh, true passes all over the place we do some step overs over here and I think you're not even gonna notice the face of dribbling in this so there's one more replay and I'm gonna end this section look at this little step over here. just give him a little bit of time and look at that true ball over there and a great finish by my mate now anticipation also a beautiful way of using this move i anticipate now my opponent to make a sliding he already slided with that last player he's aggressive he's 5-1 behind he's uh, sliding all over the place but we anticipate that and it's just beautiful to beat them with your face up dribbling if you anticipate a sliding maybe my most beautiful goal in this entire year of fifa we anticipate that he's sliding there we beat him with the face of dribbling and then we get this amazing tiki taka goal which i showed you a couple of times already might be my be most beautiful goal this entire year to we'll beat our opponent over here with the face of dribbling we do another great skill move the purple spin over there and i anticipate now if i do some face of dribbling he's gonna run past me and he does exactly as predicted a beautiful goal there yet again messi on the wing now some uh, body feints over here and i anticipate now if i do face of dribbling he will run past me and he does exactly the, just that and a great goal again by Lionel messi and this is maybe uh, the most beautiful way if you anticipate a tackle over there what a great goal with david silva it's just so subtle uh, it, it's so easy it looks so easy but it really uh, isn't that easy you have to anticipate that he's gonna do a sliding and that is uh, not really an easy thing to see when your opponent might just do that but we do a great face of dribbling here look at that goal over there a nice combination but let us now get to the next section the, another great tool about the face of dribbling is that you can go backwards you can do a backwards dribble and your player is gonna, it's just gonna keep looking forward and therefore you can really do some amazing things with that and we get another great passing goal over here look at that but the next clip now we're gonna see really well the quick stuff here with Iniesta luring the opponent out a bit the ball gets to Pedro and uh, look at the face of dribbling over here but the main point is that if he if he walks backwards with the face of dribbling he keeps facing the goal and that's very very useful at times we got the, we now were able to pass forward even when we were walking backwards and that's very nice Ronaldo beats here with the uh, face of dribbling and we do another time the face of dribbling just a little step backwards and then we can accelerate in the forward uh, direction and look at this one with Suarez also one of my nicest goals I think uh, the face of dribbling to walk backwards and it just looks so amazing it's also very effective because your opponent doesn't uh, ex expect that at all the face of dribbling little step backwards but you keep facing the goal and we do another time a little face of dribbling so my mate does get the time he needs to get into the position to tap that ball in for the easy goal over there you get the ball to Ronaldo over here. He's gonna do some uh, face of dribbling. Look at that. The little step backwards, beat the opponent yet again, and that is an insane goal as well. Okay, now maybe one of the most effective ways of using face of dribbling is for protecting the ball, mainly on the wing. You're in a tight situation here, just use some uh, face of dribbling, and you're gonna get out of there. Generally, you're not gonna get goals with that, it's just for protecting the ball. But I've collected some nice clips in which this actually resulted in a great goal. Look at the long shot over here by Tony Kroos. But I want to stress the point that uh, this is in general not gonna get you goals. I've, I've selected some nice clips because uh, it's better to show nice clips which result in goals. But it mainly uh, really doesn't give you goals. Look at this reverse Elastico by Ronaldo, by the way. So this is the uh, typical situation use some face of dribbling get out of the situation and in general it's not going to get you goals it's just going to make sure that you can get out of those situations mainly on the wing but also on any other place on the pitch 
Also, a beautiful way of using this move is a method which I call the left-right. Look at Bill over there. Is he going up? No, he's going down. Look at the opponent. He's even making the tackle over there. He really did believe that we that he went to the uh, top right, but we didn't. It's absolutely a great way to fool your opponent like that. Are we going to the bottom right? No way we are. We're beating him. we do the quick stuff. We get a great pass into Ribéry and a great goal again. Uh, Ronaldo over here is going to get the ball. Look at that. Are we going down? Nope. We beat him. See ya. Great goal over there with Ronaldo as well. And now Iniesta over here. Is he going right, left, right? Oh, the opponent just doesn't know anymore. Great ground cross into Neymar. Gets in front of the opponent. Get us the goal there. Am I going right? Nope. I'm going up. Great uh, delusion over there. We do a nice body paint turn. Get the goal there. The equalizer, which we did need. Nice uh, skill moves here with Messi. Oh, look at the face of dribbling over there. We beat him. Are we going down? No way we are. Look at Pepe. When, just when he talked we were going down, he just make a complete fool out of him. Oh, nice ball roll over there. Great finish by Messi. Another nice goal. Some nice ball to play here. And the ball is going to get to Bale over here. So what is he going to do? Is he going to go to the left? No way we are. We are going to get the goal in there. And what a great move there by Garrett Bale. A very effective way of using the left right is for getting crosses in. We cannot cross it yet, but with the face of dribbling, just making believe we're going left, but we are actually going right, and we can get the cross in over there. He was blocking it, we beat him with the face of dribbling, and it's just an amazing tool to get you the crosses in. It's gonna get you goals which you wouldn't have scored if you uh, wouldn't have used the face of dribbling over there. He was blocking the cross, we couldn't get it in. We cannot get the cross in, he's blocking it. Going to the right, no way, we're going to the left, mate. We do the ground cross, we get the goal in there, which we just couldn't have done without the face of dribbling. Are we going right? No, we're going... Oh, look at that. Great goal yet again. Now, just like in the body paint tutorial, we can at also attack the space with the face of dribbling. Look at the space over there. And we're just gonna attack the space with the face of dribbling acceleration. We get into there and usually just good things are gonna happen. Marcelo decides to step out and we can get the pass to Suarez over there. You can see that very well right here. So Marcelo makes the decision to come to us and we can get the pass to Suarez over there. Usually, if you attack the space, good things are gonna happen. We attack the space. What is gonna happen this time? Oh, the center back steps out. I know what to do. Get the ball to the Santos and wow about that goal over there absolutely amazing finish let's attack the space over there what's gonna happen nothing really okay we have the time then we uh, take the time and unfortunately we do not get the goal there but that was a great illustration right there we attack the space here yet again this time it seems like we can go all by ourselves body faint let's fool the goalkeeper with a fake shot we get the goal into there indeed and now the next and final clip of the section Neymar great uh, scoop turn and we in the middle more subtle move of attacking the space this time it's more subtle than the previous illustrations let's look at that again this time we attack the space without the uh, acceleration exit but that's a great goal as well we're almost done only two sections remaining this one is about attacking the back line we can do this because we have such amazing control with the pace of dribbling there's no way we're gonna dribble that ball over the back line and the great thing is your opponents do not expect you to do that are we going left no way we're going to the back line look how close to the back line you can dribble you will not get the ball uh, behind the back line because you have such amazing control when you do the face of dribbling you do have to confuse your opponent a bit are we going right no we're just gonna go across the back line and what a great vision to give that pass over there too bad the finish wasn't that nice but we do get the goal there now the last section of this tutorial it's the body feint with facial dribbling combination the body feint is by far the best skill move in fifa 15 it can be comboed with literally anything and of course we can also combo it with the face of dribbling it's a deadly combination the body feint is gonna give you 90 degrees acceleration the face of dribbling is gonna give you 90 degrees acceleration and it's just very hard to defend you have to take into account if you want to do face of dribbling acceleration with the acceleration exit you're usually gonna want to leave that into a 90 degree direction uh, Benzema with the nice uh, body feint and then we go with a 90 degree face up uh, dribbling acceleration again to finish that off deadly and we can see it very nicely illustrated with Ronaldo right there 90 degree turning 90 degree turning with the acceleration and then we do another body feint 90 degree turning it's so hard to defend our opponent cannot take this anymore and this is just the most effective way I wanted to stress it again just accelerate and get the goal in there it doesn't have to be subtle all the time but people this is gonna be already the end of this amazing tutorial it really did take me a lot of time to make this so if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe to my channel this was Suti see you next time